Welcome to the BBL Trophy Breakdown. I'm Chris Hughes from Rebound. Coincidentally, this is the first video on this channel, so please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm looking to bring new content that's out there, additional to the work I'm doing at Upstream Media with the weekly live preview shows. The video content is going to be of breakdowns today. The breakdown is the BBL Trophy draw. BBL Trophy is a 16 team competition with teams from the BBL and outside of the BBL competing to win the BBL trophy in a knockout tournament. This year with COVID has put some restrictions on the teams that had to enter. Only elite teams are allowed to enter this year, so no teams in Scotland or Wales. Obviously, compared to last season, we have about Regrettably, London City Royals that opens another slot for NBL team. So this year's edition of the BBL trophy comprises the 11 existing BBL teams, but also five NBL teams. The NBL teams are Derby Trailblazers, Hemel Storm, Reading Rockets, Team Solar Kestrels and Thames Valley Cavaliers. All the teams come together to be drawn out the hat play each other in a knockout tournament. So all the ties are predetermined depending on obviously who wins. With a bracket separate half the draw. I'll just quickly recap the draw. Link to the description where Dan Routledge on the BBL Facebook page did the draw. So the top bracket is quite BBL heavy. Quite a few of the top four teams currently already in it. So it's going to be a very competitive bracket. First off we've got London Lions who host Leicester Riders. BBL fans will already be aware that these two teams have played each other. Actually, quite recently now, as I record the video, it's on the 3rd January. The Lions one point victory versus their rivals. The next game out the hat was Bristol Flyers versus Newcastle Eagles. Um, next up, we've got ties involving the NBL team. Both Hemel Storm and Reddy Rockets are tough away fixtures versus Cheshire Phoenix and Glasgow Watt, respectively. And because we know who's going to play each other next round, so the next round would be one of London. Lions or Leicester Riders at home versus Bristol Flyers or Newcastle Eagles. And in the other quarter final, it will be Cheshire Phoenix or uh, Hemel Storm at home to Glasgow Rocks or Reading Rockets. So, at the other half of the draw, first tie is Worcester Wolves versus Manchester Giants and at Sheffield Sharks versus Plymouth Raiders. Uh, last time these teams met, Sheffield won by a five point win. We now Move on to the next tie, and that's Surrey Storch's first Thames Valley Cavaliers. This has already been dubbed the Martel Mucklemore Derby because fans of British Fast will know Thames Valley Cavaliers, Martel Mucklemore is now with Surrey Storchers. So, a very exciting game. And then finally, we got the all NBL game at the Derby Cavaliers versus Team Solent Kestrels. So, to recap, it's London Lions facing Leicester Riders. Bristol does host last year's BBL Trophy champions Newcastle Eagles. Uh, Cheshire Phoenix hosts Hemel Storm. Reddy Rockets make that long journey up to Glasgow, face Glasgow Rocks. And in the other side of the draw, we've got Bristol Wars hosting Manchester Giants. Sheffield Sharks hosting Plymouth Raiders. And then you've got Surrey Storch first 10 Valley Cavaliers. But you've got all NBL tie with Derby Trail last year's. Uh, BBL Trophy finalist team Solent Kestrels. So, in terms of route to the final and some of the key teams to look out for, are Newcastle Eagles, who won the trophy last year by beating Team Solent Kestrels in overtime. They start their defence for BBL Trophy against last year's semi finals Bristol Flyers, who People may remember loss to Team Stone Teshels and a massive uh, loss in the first leg really made it hard for them to make a comeback in the second leg. But they almost did that. Hypothetically speaking, of course, we could have a repeat of that final with both Solent and Newcastle in opposite sides of draw. So let's just take a quick look to see what the testers have to do. Obviously, it's too early to start looking towards the final just yet. Potentially, testers have to get past Derby first, who in their own right are a more than solid D1 side. And it was one of the closer games last year when these two teams met. Uh, due to COVID, they only met once last season before the league was suspended. Testers won that, been 87-66. So they got a tough assignment first. They then would have to play the winners of Surrey or TBC. And then in semi finals, one of four teams of Worcester, Manchester, Sheffield, Plymouth. All four teams have uh, made great signings in the off-season, all much stronger. 
other interesting ties to look for. Obviously, London Lions, Leicester Riders. That's a really good game. You also got Hemel Storm playing Cheshire Phoenix. I think that to be a really exciting game. And obviously, Red and Waters versus Glasgow. Those are the two players on the 5th to the 7th of February, with the exception of Worcester Wolves versus Manchester Giants, who have already announced that their fixtures to be played on the 10th of February, 7 pm. All those fixtures, of course, are subject to change. Next up, so follow us on my channel. Uh, and all my social media channels will know. We pro primarily focus on the NBL. So for the next part of the video, I thought I'd talk a bit about my thoughts on these five NBL team champions, Team Zone Kestrels. They've got pedigree in this competition. They were last year's finalists. I think they'll do well. They got a tough test up the derby. I played quite a few fixtures already and near the top of the NBL. Uh, very good attacking team. Lots of perimeter shooting. If I was to say which team I thought was the most complete in terms of the team, but defense attacks and has different pieces to that puzzle derby for me are one of those teams who have pretty much all those pieces bbl fans will obviously know rima lacellis plays for them they've got a lot of experience but they've also got some very good youngsters coming through like charlie brown blake bowman and, and many more and they also got some good shooters such as josh Demi, and they've got some really excited players too who to do those sort of fast break dunks, those sort of highlight reels, if you like. So, they're going to be a really good team to watch. And obviously, talk about them if they get past Solon. Even one of those teams, they will have to travel to Surrey TVC. I think if Derby get past Solon, they have every chance of giving whoever gets out to Surrey TVC tight a good day. Same to Solon. I think they've got enough weapons to give your team's problems. For me, TBC are the team that's impressed me most in terms of offensive weapons. We're yet to really see Taylor Johnson much in the NBL, but that doesn't seem to be an issue for them. We've got Seth Hawley on the bench, who seems like he'd do 30 points any given night. We've got Blaine Freckleton, who everyone knows about him. He, he's definitely one of the premier shooters in British basketball. We've got Lewis Champion, who obviously BBL fans will... Need no introduction to. They've got a lot of other threats like Hakeem Sia. They've got a lot of big guys who who did um, other forwards a good match up in the paint. And they also got those perimeter shooter guys who we've already mentioned and many other talents, I'm sure. There's guys I've not mentioned who deserve a mentioning. As an NBL fan, it's unfortunate you've got three very talented teams who are going to face each other. I know BBL fans will say the same if they look at the London Leicester, Newcastle, Brister, Quadrant, you know, you don't get to the semi-finals with only one of those teams potentially. The same with, as an NBL fan, looking at Derby, Solent, TBC sort of mix. But it gives uh, one of those teams a really good opportunity. But obviously Surrey are not to be underestimated. NBL fans will, will know that roster quite well, actually, without, if they don't watch BBL as much. And then on the other side of the tournament, sorry, we've got Reading and Hemel. Uh, Reading really impressed me, giving the opportunity to those younger guys. Got lots of very talented guys. I'm sure a lot of NBL fans look to see how Sam Grant does his BBL team. You've also got the very talented Reese Pinnock, Maitland. You've got lots of other guys there as well who, who will cause issues. And Leon France, I think, is a very good big and he'll be one to watch. And then BBL fans feel like the flashy player, the one who sort of does the sort of step back freeze, um, hard to guard. Fit Sean Williams, so that guy to watch. Uh, one thing I'm really excited about to watch to see how they did on the DSB Bell side, and they got a great duo of Americans in terms of Greg Poley and Mike Williams, and that's Hemel Storm. Again, similar to the TBC, a lot of attacking threat. If that's Jack Burnell from free, or they've also added Taya Oyafusi for that defensive edge, and Levi Noll, who BBL fans from those. On the subject of Americans, uh, NBL teams will usually play with two Americans in the NBL, but with BBL, Trophy is a great opportunity to expand their roster. I suspect teams will, um, no inside knowledge, but you, know, you just have to look at it so that last year, when they got to semi final, they had Trayvon Wright. Uh, Trayvon's obviously injured now. I believe he's out for the end of the season. That's not confirmed. But I, I do think we'll see some guys back. I think from an NBL perspective, I, I would be surprised to see AJ Wobbert. So it likes the Hemel TBC. Maybe looking to add that extra piece. Hemel's quite a small team. So sort it of adds that height. That would be perfect for them. TBC, getting their team at all out attack. A presence, obviously, at Hacking C, who like, loves a block party. I think. In the top of the table clash, a commentator of upstream media, I think he got four blocked. So, someone to add that bit of extra defensive presence to, to an already impressive team would be good. And Reddin, who admirably are going just one American, would obviously add up to three and very talented side, coached by Coach Teen.
as I mentioned at the start of the video, videos on this channel will be for breakdowns and reactions. So if there's any big news comes out in the next few days or weeks, I'll subsequently add videos. In the run-up to the BBL trophy, I will be doing some more team-focused videos on the teams who are involved in the BBL trophy. I hope you enjoyed. Also, I'd love to see comments in the, in the comments section. Comment what player you think should be recruited by your NBL team. If you're great, I'd love to read through them and I'll read out the best ones on the next video. Stay safe and see you soon.